Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, where today we have another community replay. This one sent in by Burn1889 from the BTF clan. Shout out to your clan. Today, Burn is in the T92, the, uh, the first Era 2 American light tank. And this thing is heavily underrated, in my opinion. I don't think this tank gets enough love. <laughs> and maybe there's a good reason for that. Many moons ago, we had the concealment nerf. And that nerf changed this tank quite a lot. This one used to be incredibly sneaky because it has such a short profile. It could... It, could, it, it just seemed to be able to get around in ways that other light tanks couldn't. But when the concealment nerf came in, it changed a lot of things about the way this tank plays. It is a bottom tier tank, so you kind of know... What you get for that is kind of what you'd expect. It's not the best. It is bottom of era 2. It's not the fastest. It only has a top speed... Of, well, an unboosted top speed of 56 kilometers an hour. And when you consider that other light tanks in Era 2 are doing 90, you think, uh, yeah, it's not the best. Nice little graphic here on the screen to show that he's done 7,500 assists and his team are all down the one line. Seems to be working out, though. But yes, this tank isn't the fastest. It doesn't have the best penetration, 270 millimeters of penetration. Alpha 280. Eh. You know, there's a lot about this tank that you could pick on it. You could pull it down for and say, oh, it's... don't worry about it. But somehow, this tank still has its place, and I think it's incredibly underrated. I think this tank needs more love than it gets. And as you can see here, Burn is demonstrating that in the right circumstances, you can pull in. He's just broken the 10,000 mark there. 10,000 spotting assist. Fortunately for him, the way the teams have rotated around the map has facilitated this somewhat. His team has pushed the one line, the enemy team has pushed the 8-9 line. So what's happened is everything's just ev the teams are slowly rotating around each other, which yeah, it happens. Uh, Fisherman's Bay does accommodate that kind of play style because you've got the high ground in the middle and then you've got the low low spots on either side so teams can go down each flank and hide from from sight and they can do this but you know sometimes it goes that way sometimes it doesn't and this is one of those games where things are just going the way that burn wants them to he's three marked this thing he knows what he's doing and a game like this is a good example of how he's managed to three mark it this is already the game's not over and he's already pulled in an incredible score so, what have they got there? They've got three tanks in H8. They have an RDF that's left alive behind him, who I would suspect would want to prioritise taking out Burn, because Burn is the reason his team is being spotted. Caught T72 there on one hit point. Caught, he'll sneeze and he's gone. Still pulling in the assist. He's, on, he's, he's just under 11,500. That RDF is a one-shot, and there goes the RDF. Again, more assist, assist coming in. And what Burns doing here is he's not he's he's not what well, as you can see, he's not using his gun at all. Well, I say at all, he's got just under fifteen hundred damage, but you don't this is where the T ninety two kind of this is where its niche is. It's in its niche is games where you just spot. You keep moving, you keep spotting, and then in the end stages of the game here, like you're seeing now, this Magak. This is where the gun comes in. And the Magak's gone. But there you go. 11,759 spot assist in the T92. A tank that doesn't get enough love in my opinion. So Burn, very well played there sir. That was a very good game. And I can see why your mark is at 97.36%. Awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Well played sir. And that is all I have for this one, guys. So if you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If not, a dislike. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.